Good morning, YouTube, and welcome to my channel. This is Bonnie, Old Soul Mermaid. And if you're new to this channel, this channel we do uh, tarot walkthroughs, first impressions, unboxings, and discuss tarot topics all through the lens of a 53-year-old ex Mormon. So um, today's video, we're going to be looking at one of two decks that I got at the recent Hay House 50% off their entire site sale, which was last week. I restrained myself to only two decks, and uh, these decks were each, I believe, just $10 each. So um, yeah, I couldn't say no. I, w I was... Uh, just captivated by the two from what I have seen of them. So I'm hoping that they will not disappoint. So I'm gonna go through the first one and that is the Spell Casting Oracle Cards. And I will do a separate video for the second deck um, just so it won't, the video won't be too long. So this is the Spell Casting Oracle deck, a 48 card deck and guidebook by Flavia Kate Peters and Barbara Mickeljohn Free. And the artwork is by Lisbeth Cheever Guessman. So we are going to take off the plastic. And this box is just, just beautiful. And if you saw one of my previous videos, decks that are leaving my collection, you would have noticed that those, a good chunk of those decks were all Hay House decks. So I did a little bit of like summer cleaning and made some room for some other decks that I think that will resonate where I am more than those decks did. So this is a gorgeous box, gorgeous artwork. And it's in the nice, sturdy Hay House box. Yeah, it's beautiful. So on the back it says, have you ever wished you could cast a spell to change your life's path, connect with your inner witch, and add a little magic? The 48 cards in this deck will help you to harness thousands of years of supernatural wisdom to empower and heal your journey. Whether you're a seasoned witch or a magical dabbler, all the spells you need to conjure your desires are contained within this deck. Are you ready to work your magic? And it says Flavio Kate Peters and Barbara Mickle John Free are both high priestesses and teachers of ancient ma magic. And the artist, Elizabeth Cheever Guessman, is an artist who merges different mediums to create new interpretations of myth and archetype. And then it has um, her website. So let's open this beauty up. Oh, I just love the sides of the box too. It's just, just gorgeous. So typical, nice little chunky Hay House guidebook. And we'll take a look at the, at the cards first. They're not wrapped in pa plastic. Sometimes I'm a little worried when they come with these little paper bands because they do kind of crunch the sides, especially for the back, the back cards. But I think they're okay. Now look at these gorgeous backs and truth be told, I have seen an unboxing of this deck and these backs, <laughs> maybe even more than the front. And I'm gonna zoom down a little bit, so I'm sorry if there's a bump. I want you to be able to get the best possible look at the cards as possible. But look at these. Okay, we're just gonna sit here and look at the gorgeousness of the back of these cards. Um, it's a nice matte cardstock. I don't have the Work Your Light Oracle Hay House deck with me right now or next to me, but I'm saying it's that kind of matte, but I think the um, cardstock is thinner. It's definitely thinner and um, super matte. But it, it seems like it has some kind of a core in it, maybe. I'm hoping that they'll... Yeah, they're definitely more on the papery matte side, but they're not flimsy by any means. So let's turn them over. And 
and go through these beautiful cards. There's no gilding on the edges. That's okay, this deck, so far it looks just gorgeous for 10 bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong. I believe it's it runs for about 17 or $18 on Amazon and it, it on the back of the box it, uh, it says $19.99 in the US, $25.99 Canadian. So animals, it's the first card. Answers. I don't know, he almost reminds me of the, ma is it the magician card in the good tarot? <laughs> the Santa Claus looking, he, he has more of a shaman look to him. Beauty. This is kind of a more body diverse, body positive image you can see and she's definitely, it looks like she's a mermaid. I love this. Definitely not, you know, the fantasy glam, body beautiful mold, you know, it's yeah, a little bit more diverse. It's beautiful. Blessings. I mean, the colors on this deck are just stunning. And just got a little bit of a cloud cover here. I'm doing this under natural light boundaries. Career. Beautiful. Clarity. Now I love blues and greens and lavenders. They're very calming colors. Closure. Commitment. It's a very soft color palette, compassion, confidence, courage, with the line there, it reminds me of the strength card in tarot without the, the female figure. Dreams. Now this is like, the artwork is in some way, you know, reminiscent and very, you know, cohesive with, you know, other Hay House decks, but it is really done beautifully empowerment i hope i hope that my can my phone is capturing the richness of these colors and the soup the matte cardstock really does it justice it's it's just it's just very like an ex luxurious experience here family Fertility. Financial health. Kind of reminds me of the tree and the Normand. Finding. Forgiveness. Very, very, I, I'm just, I'm wowed by the colors and just the feel of the cards. It's very nice, very, very nice. Wonderful digital manipulated art, freedom. And her 
cage friendship looks a little bit like a coven good luck and you gotta have a a cat and kind of a witchy deck, right? Grieving. Happiness. For the most part, I think that the, the keywords do correspond with the image portrayed very well. Healing. I love the feel of these cards, you guys. Home. Reminds me of the house card in Lenormand. Or it's a very storybook cottage. Okay. This card, Inspiration, has major Stevie Nicks vibes to me. I don't know what album cover, mostly Stevie is in black, but they're, I don't know, this is more reminiscent of her Belladonna album cover, um, where she, I think she is not wearing a lighter color, probably like a lavender dress with the high boots. Doesn't she look like Stevie? Look at the hair. And f for you under 40 or 35, you have to look at Stevie Nicks is was a singer with Fleetwood Mac, has her own solo career. Um, her onstage persona was very witchy. Some people referred to her, what was it? Oh, in the, um, one of the seasons, Coven season of uh, American Horror Story, she was referred to and worshipped by one of the witches, and she was referred to as the White Witch. <laughs> Even though I don't think she, she's ever come out and said that she practices witchcraft, but her song, Rhiannon, is about a Welsh witch. I can't. So, Justice. Again, the hair reminds me very Stevie, but I was a big, I still am, but Stevie Nicks, when I was a young girl, that Dreams album, oh my gosh. Life Purpose. Lighten Your Load. The world's on his back. Kind of reminds me of a Ten of Swords, or ten, no, Ten of Wands in the tarot. Definitely. Love. This is the cover of the box, Manifestation. I love, love, love this picture. New beginnings. You go through this door, this portal, this window onto something new, something unknown. Passion. I like the red and orange colors, you know, depicting fire and passion. I don't know about this pose, but you know, I'll, I'll go with it. Peace. Beautiful angelic card. I think this is the one card that really it has strayed from the the um, more peaceful, subdued color palette, but that's okay when you have a passion card. Prosperity.
protection. I do think all this collage, digital collage, it, it is a feast for the eyes, at least to me. Some people are not drawn to this kind of artwork. There's some that I, I am truly drawn to if it's done right, and some that I'm not. Psychic abilities. Her eyes are mesmerizing. Very, very beautiful. Reconciliation. Spirit guide. Strength. Okay, well now this strength card, she's got baby cubs instead of the full grown lion, so. Talent, I always love, you know, I love mermaids and I love ballerinas and ballerina poses. She's in a beautiful arabesque pose. This is a beautiful transformation card. And while I'm looking at these, like this card in particular, I'm wondering how I could duplicate this using some acrylic paint and a, a gel, gel plate. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Travel, kind of reminiscent of the Six of Swords in the tarot. I don't know, is her pa posture just really bad or is she pregnant? What does it look like to you? Hmm. Trust. Even though everything might be storming right now, you have to trust that you'll come out okay in the end. I am filming this on the 27th of August and I'm in Texas and we have the storms, the hurricanes that are going to be hitting, you know, the Gulf of Mexico, the southeast portion of Texas, I'm not there, um, and Louisiana as we speak, it's hitting it right now, so it has me thinking about those people and, and their homes. Truth. A little bit darker in the color palette as well as this one, but this one is well being. And the last card is willpower. Oh, you guys, beautiful. I don't know how they're going to read. Um, we're going to come up just a little bit because we'll be looking at the book. But just as, you know, they're a little bit, all these Oracle decks, you know, it, even a regular tarot deck is borderline for what my hands can handle. But these do overhand shuffle very well. They have a nice slide. They're not sticky or clumpy, really. Um, I will do my little side shuffle. And I did have a, somebody comment on, one of, on my shuffle, doing this shuffle. And I refer to it as a side shuffle. She calls it her waterfall shuffle. So maybe I'll... Um, credit her and start using that term <laughs> but it does shuffle really well um I don't know you know like I said I'm not certain if it has any kind of a core in there but the cardstock is very nice very very nice I uh, got a little bit of like some some pieces that need to be peeled off from cutting but it's no big deal I mean for 10 bucks can't complain so let's take a quick look at how the guidebook is set up. 
It is a spell casting deck, so it has in the contents a hail and welcome, the ancient art of spellcraft, what is a spell, magical moon phases, magical full moons, magical weekdays, magical directions, elements, and con connections, how to cast your spell, and working with card spreads. So let's look. So there's the hail and wit. welcome. What is a spell? Moon phases. We're going to go into the cards. It goes into magical weekdays. Magical directions, elements, and connections. How to cast your spell. Um, it has a three card spread. The pentagram spread. So card one is for the present. Card two, air, the winds of influence. Card three, intuition, water. Card four is fire, the internal cleanser. Card five is earth, keep grounded. And card six is spirit, the whole self. So it's got like two spreads. Interpretation of cards. So that first card, animals, so you get a magical guidance, you do get a spell incantation, you get magical meanings, so for the spell incantation, for this particular card, it says, take a turquoise crystal and some hairs or feathers from your animal companion. On a first quarter moon at night on a Tuesday, face north and say, and then it has an incantation. And then tuck a turquoise crystal wrapped in hair feathers in your animal companion's bed and say, and it has another incantation. Uh, magical meanings, train as an animal healer and communicator, support and campaign for animal charities, a deceased animal companion is still very much with you, an animal brings healing. So the spell, the spell incantation or spell is very, very particular, but you can, I guess, you could use these as spell cards, but you can definitely just use them as an oracle. This is an oracle deck. Um, because of the, it has magical guidance, it does have like an oracle meaning um, given to each card. But then you can also use it as a magical card as well. So a deck for two purposes. Um, you can down, there's an app you can download, mobile, uh, mobile app and get a seven day free trial. There's about the author and the artists. So yeah, um, I am not a witch, but I'm starting to read about Wicca and witchcraft and, you know, on my spiritual journey, I'm, I'm kind of staying away from everything from that has Judeo-Christian connotations. That's just where I am. Uh, working on completely distancing myself from the religion I grew up in, which is uh, Mormonism. And it has taken years and years and years and years. So I am um, very interested in this. This is kind of, to me, like I kind of learn, dip your toes in. Um, so yeah, I am just mesmerized by the artwork. If anything, you guys, <laughs> it was worth $10 just to look at these cards. And I'm very interested to work with them. So yeah, that is the Spellcasting Oracle deck um, published by Hay House. 
one of two decks I got in the Hay House 50% off sale. And if you got any value to this video, please hit a like, a subscribe, um, hit the notification bell for my next video, and let me know what you think. Um, do you have this deck? And also, if you got, if you participated, participated in the Hay House sale. What did you get? I would love to hear what you got. And so until next time, I'm going to be filming another video for the other deck that I got. So until next time, I'm going, I know I'm going to see you really soon. Bye for now.